please, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Um, as a follow-up to the video I posted a couple of days ago on the uh, Raspberry Pi 02W, this chap, and the USB connectivity by using this Suyai Arma. <laughs> I never get to say these words correctly. Um, oh, USB splitter cable. Um, I mentioned at the time that uh, I couldn't get the USB uh, hat that I'd purchased to work. Well, good news. The USB hat is now working. And there it is installed on the Pi. So the Pi, this is the uh, 02W, it is working well. Um, as you can see, the USB connections to the Go box are plugged directly into the Pi, uh, into the USB hat on the Pi. A um, couple of telltales give you clues about uh, data transmission and whether it's powered up, etc. And the problem was, in the end, really quite simple. Uh, the problem was, as I suspected, registration between the pogo pins that mate between... I can just see them. If I uh, use a screwdriver. Uh, the pogo pins are, are, are down here, and they mate between... Uh, get my fingers out of the way. Um, they mate between to make a, a fairly straightforward contact between the Pi and the USB card. Um, and that's now all functioning fine. Um, it, it was registration in that uh, I had to adjust the fixings both on the Pi and on the USB sound card and, as I said at the time, jiggle the boards about until I, I got the thing to function. Um, as a precaution, I also cleaned off the connectors and the pads on the board. I cleaned the connectors um, just with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Um, <laughs> gin or whiskey would probably, or brandy would probably work just as well. Uh, but uh, I cleaned them off and, and now everything is functioning fine. So that's a... Uh, this this now um, and by the way I've been running the uh, Raspberry Pi uh, Zero Two W uh, for probably more than twenty four hours now uh, running WSJTX and um, if I just uh, and I'm also running it uh, I'm running the the thing uh, with uh, FL Digi because one of my colleagues reported that uh, FL Digi was causing the Pi to rise to excessive temperatures and um, I've not found that uh, the maximum temperature I've got up to was 53 degrees centigrade uh, and at no time did the Pi look to switch off or throttle back or anything like that. Um, I've got a small heat sink on the Pi, um, just a a, a, a tiny little black one. It doesn't even cover the full dimensions of the Pi, it's just one I happen to have in the drawer. Um, and, and that's kind of keeping everything under control. So that's that's it really. Um, I didn't uh, want to say any more. I am going to start now investigating this other little sound card. I uh, haven't done anything with that yet. I've been a bit busy doing other things. So uh, this will be the, the next addition <laughs> to the Pi 2 Zero 2W. So thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you found that useful and I hope you have a great day. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.